Hello everyone, I'm Benjamin Smith, your host on Respawn News, and today we're going to be doing a bit of a shorter rapid fire news for you guys. Uh, we got two cool stories this week to cover relating to the Nintendo Switch and Red Dead Online, so let's waste no time and get into it. Well, to start off, we got some news regarding a new Nintendo Switch with an OLED display. Uh, a Switch Pro was actually rumored for uh, years now. It seems like a Switch Pro has been rumored since the Switch came out uh, about four years ago. So we didn't get a Switch Pro revealed, but we got this new Nintendo Switch with an OLED display and a larger 7-inch display as well, with a couple features uh, that improve the quality of life for Switch users. It has an improved kickstand, which actually runs across the entire bottom of the Switch. Uh, I actually own the first Switch and the Switch Lite, and the kickstand on the first Switch was just terrible. It was this tiny little thing. So this looks like a pretty, a pretty good improvement. And another huge uh, design flaw uh, with the first Switch was it only having a very, very small internal storage. I know everyone who owns a Switch ends up going out to buy uh, new micro SDs to to fit all their games on and this one has an increased internal storage as well which is definitely definitely an improvement and we got a couple other minor design tweaks that went along with it um i think i still prefer the d-pad and buttons on the switch light uh, many reports say that the Switch is actually a big upgrade from the past two iterations, um, of course, as it should be. Uh, with this new display, it is able to give us some brighter colors and much darker, deeper blacks as well. But it's important to notice that the Switch still only sports a 720p resolution and that may be coming a bit outdated, uh, especially with these new consoles releasing this past year and this Switch still maxes out at 720p. So I know uh, many people were hoping for some more power under the hood with these pro rumors, but you know, you, you can't always be, be right with these estimations and these guesses. So. It's a bit. It's a bit of an interesting reveal, really. This new switch. It's. It's not something people expected. People expected more of a, a graphical improvement and more hardware under the hood of the switch. But I don't know. Are you gonna be picking up the new OLED switch? Uh, let me know. Were you hoping for something better, like a Pro Switch? You know, following the release of these next-gen consoles, it seems like the switch, uh, power-wise, is still gonna be. Uh, trucking along behind them a fair bit so let's talk in the comments what do you think about the new OLED switch and Red Dead Online is finally seeing its first content update in months probably the the biggest major update we've gotten in over a year uh, it looks like we're finally getting the long overdue update this Tuesday, July 13th, and it's going to be called the Blood Money Update. It looks like it's going to be, of course, centered, or you can tell by the title, it's going to be centered around uh, new crime and robbery opportunities, and it looks like they're focusing on a lot of um, player requested features. So it looks like in the update, we're going to be getting things like homestead robberies, hired gun missions, and even things like kidnappings as well. It seems like we're going to be doing missions for um, higher up people in the in the criminal industry. And Saint-Denis is where uh, a lot of these missions are going to be taking place. Um, and it looks like a lot of these things will be integrated into free roam as well as standalone missions as well. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, we're going to be getting multi-stage robberies and that means we're going to be able to set up and tackle these missions uh, step by step which kind of reminds me of heists in gta you know you make these setup missions and it takes probably about five to anywhere from five to ten uh, setup missions to get the heist going depends on which one you're doing of course so 
I'm really interested as to how much content there will be here. Will there be three different robberies and we're going to be redoing them over and over? Are we going to be able to finish the content in a day? That stuff is uh, really interesting me. You guys probably know I've been a fan of Red Dead Online for a while now, but I haven't really picked up the game in a couple months now just because it's the content has been so dry, you know. When you get to a certain level in Red Dead Online, it's just there's nothing else to do once you get all of these roles of uh, moonshiner bounty hunter and and whatnot you get all of them and there's nothing left to do so i really hope there's there's gonna be enough content here and it looks like there may be some content uh to help us along for a while it's important to note that there will be four uh outlaw passes uh coming out and i think they stated online that there'll be 20 gold bars each and as you progress through the outlaw pass you'll actually earn those 20 gold bars back so you can buy the next one and it says on the newswire that these four outlaw passes will stretch all the way till october and lead into the October Halloween themed outlaw pass. I think Halloween themed uh, content is always cool. So I guess that traditional drip feed is what they're going for here. Rockstar loves to do that traditional drip feed. Uh, and Red, or, uh, sorry, not Red Dead, and GTA Online, they drop a big content update with a couple cars, but then for the following three months, there'll be a new car every other week or every week they'll drop one car so it may that may be something we see here and read it online um whether you see that as a bad thing or not uh it's still better than nothing at the end of the day i guess so i'll be covering uh how good the update is i'll i'll be making a video um just about the red dead online update and i'll be talking about what what kind of stuff we got um i'm a big fan so that's something i really want to cover and 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 keep you guys up to date if the game is worth picking up again or not um so yeah th th those are the two stories that came out this week the oled switch and reddit online finally seeing some content so i hope you guys enjoyed this little rapid fire news uh news update and happy gaming guys <laughs>